Hey everyone, Mac here. Uh, welcome to an update on Battle Bryopsis. Uh, I apologize for not getting videos up uh, in the recent uh, months. Uh, I have a lot going on. I'm trying to uh, land a new job. I've uh, been uh, dealing with some heavy rain, flooding basement. Uh, we didn't have AC for a while because of that. Uh, good fun stuff, uh, but we're we're in a better spot now. Um, the tank has um, taken some dramatic turns. Uh, first and foremost, um, my clownfish is no longer here, as well as the long nose hawkfish. Uh, both of those um, have perished, unfortunately. Um, I was not able to recover any. Um, bodies to get them out and because of that uh, as you see there's some particles floating around that is from the algae that I am scraping off the front glass so we can shoot this video um, so there was a massive nutrient sink into uh, the tank uh, which caused a massive algae bloom um, and some cyanobacteria but with that being said the bryopsis is gone. That is correct. I have not moved any of this rock. I've not taken it out. I've not cleaned it. Um, the bryopsis is gone, guys. Uh, there's a little tiny bit right by the anemone here. Let's see if I can zoom in without blurring it out. There's a little bit right there. Um, there's a little bit right up there. But it's gone. Look, the, the mushrooms have room to spread out again. Um, the, the, this coral looks just uh, fantastic. If you remember, this whole area here was really, really, really bad. Um, the area up here was really, really, really bad. And right down here, it was like terrible. It was, it was, it looked like a forest. Um, so there's one of the hammer corals. There's the other one. They were actually one piece, but they broke when I was trying to do something. I think it was pulling out some uh, bryopsis and it broke into two. Uh, but they're both doing fantastic. I think that one's uh, doing much better than this one. Um, look at that. He's all nice and opened up and, and happy. Um, my enemy's still doing its thing. Um, these polyps over here are, are looking much better. Um, I still have the blenny. Um, let me see if I can get zoomed in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, so they're doing pretty good. Um, if you remember, this rock was covered in bryopsis. I do have a little glass anemone there. I have a little colony down over here. Um, whoop, right there. Um, those are easy fixes. Um, so you see there's some cyano going on um, so I, and I think that's from the loss of the uh, two fish unfortunately um, but otherwise because it's gone uh, the vibrant worked um, if if you weren't sure you know I was on the fence guys I mean truly I was on the fence um, but yeah, it's 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 gone. Um, not 100%. I would say 99.9998% is gone. Uh, this this is just fantastic. Um, and the folks over at uh, uh, Vibrant have been uh, periodically checking in with me. Um, it, it's just been a uh, uh, crazy last couple months and I do apologize for not getting any videos up uh, but you know, I had to do take care of some personal things that, that needed to be taken care of and unfortunately the tank uh, due to that um, kind of got neglected uh, re-neglected again um, it, life happens um, it, it really does um, but I kept what I remembered I kept treating it with the, the vibrant the, the bottle is empty um, 
but it's gone. Uh, I'm still amazed by this. Um, you know, I've, I've got to do some few maintenance stuff to, to get the tank back. You know, get rid of the the cyano and, and this algae that it has taken over. Um, once I do that, in uh, I kind of rebound from the bill from repairing the furnace and AC unit. Um, we will uh, we'll get this uh, tank back into shape in no time, and uh, we'll get a couple new critters in here. Uh, definitely a new uh, clownfish of some kind. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put in there just yet, but I will definitely get a couple, uh, at least one clownfish, maybe a pair, and. Uh, but the blending's still, still still doing his thing, and uh, yeah, there it is, guys. It is gone. I am still beside myself a bit. I mean, there there's some traces here and there of of where some of it still kind of resides, but as as you can see, it is clearly just 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 going away. So, uh, again, ignore all the particles, that's just for me scraping the front of the glass down. Uh, the last couple weeks have been a, a whirlwind for me, and uh, I just never had time to get it cleaned out. Um, but I will uh, do a few maintenance things here, and uh, we'll get this back up and running. And, and back to where it was before all this madness began and uh, I will have a happy tank again uh, but I want to thank uh, the folks at Underwater Creations for making um, such an amazing product uh, that I don't know what they've got in that bottle but it is it is uh, some amazing stuff so if you've got Bryopsis um, Definitely look into getting this. Um, I still have the bottle. Let me see if I can move it in a better position here. There it is. So I can get there. We go a little bit better lighting on that. Uh, but that's what the bottle looks like. Um, comes in a couple different flavors. There's uh, one for fresh water, one for salt water. Uh, I think one for reef. Um, you know, you got some algae problems, definitely look into it. Uh, it's not that expensive. Um, it's like 15 bucks for a, an 8 ounce bottle. Um, definitely look into getting it. Um, highly recommend this stuff now. Um, I, I can't say anything more than than that. This is this is the results, guys. Um, I mean, that, that rock there was, was terrible. Uh, down here was is like I said before a forest. Up over in here was a forest. Um, down over through here, um, it was in between all of these uh, the polyps of mushrooms, um, and it was it was choking out the mushrooms. Uh, even even the smallest ones are are rebounding back. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't hardly see these mushrooms when I started this. I mean, you, they were in there, but it was so speckled with um, bryopsis that it was literally choking these out. Look at, look at that one there. Just a happy happy mushroom. Um, you know, if you you see the shape of this, all of this down under here was all bryopsis. That's why this thing has grew out the way it did. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Even this little broken piece of, of galaxy coral. I mean, look how big that's gotten just in the few, in a couple months. I mean, that thing was tiny. So, the, the corals are very much happy. Uh, unfortunately, my toadstool, um, hasn't really opened up since it did its molting thing the last time. So, um, I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Uh, it's clearly not happy there. I might have to see if I can't move it somewhere where it might be a little bit more happy. Um, there, yeah, 
um, what's the saying? Proof is in the pudding. Uh, it's in the bottle. <laughs> so there we are. Um, once I get to this a little bit more settled down and I get a couple new inhabitants in here, um, I will make a new video and uh, go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the videos, want to see more, uh, hit the subscribe button. Let me know. Uh, if you've got questions about Vibrant, um, definitely shoot me a message um, or contact under our creations themselves. Um, uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, I mean, it took a few months. It took a lot of months <laughs> to get this taken care of, but here it is. I, I truly believed um, in my heart that I was going to have to disassemble this whole tank and start from scratch, and I was really dreading that. And now I've pretty much got my tank back. Like, I mean, you can even see, I don't know if you can see it with this camera or not, but right down there, little mini bristle starfish. It was like sticking out. You couldn't see those guys before because there was so much biopsis in this tank. Um, so the critters are happier, um, minus the two that are no longer there. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely get rid of this. these glass anemones. Um, that's that's way easy fix. Um, you know, throw a new branch or a or new bronc, whatever you call them. Uh, maybe a couple peppermint shrimp, and, and that should take care of those guys. Um, so yeah, uh, there we go. Have a great one, everyone. Later.